Behind every scripture is a voice of God. Behind every scripture is a voice of God. You must search for the truth from the word of God. You must sit down and do a searching. And as you read the Bible, as you seek the word of God, God begins to speak to you from the pages of the word of God. In fact, pure prophecy comes from the word of God. Pure prophecy comes from the word of God. There can never be a purer prophecy than the word of God. Now, in this book, in this book, the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7. Listen to what the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10 and verse number 7. It says, then I come, then I say, behold, I have come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do your will, O Lord. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in the volume of the book, in the book that you're holding, in this book, there are certain things that are written for you specifically. There are certain things that God has put hidden in this book just for you. They are there just specifically for you. The Bible says, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. Pastor Dan, there are certain promises, there are certain scriptures that God has locked within this book that are just meant for you. Nobody else can be able to tap into that scripture the way you can be able to tap into it. And it will not be able to speak to somebody else the way it can speak to you. That is why I'm meditating Hebrews 11, 11. There's something about that scripture that I believe that God has hidden for me. By faith, Sarah received strength to conceive seed and she brought forth when she was past age. For she, she judged in faithful that I promised her. That scripture has something for me. The Bible says that it is written of me. There's something Josiah that is written of you. And guess what? When you find it in the word of God, it is the will of God for you. When you find it in the word of God, it is the will of God for you. Now ladies and gentlemen, faith is impossible where the will of God is not Desirable. Let me say that again. Faith is impossible where the will of God is not desirable. If you can't design the will of God, it is impossible for you to believe God. That is why you need to be able to know what God has said and written for you or about you in the word of God.